Welcome back. So, on my last video, we did some Temu's hauls. Now, listen, it's pronounced Temu originally. I hate that name. I know if it was Timu, it would have an A in it, but I cannot keep saying Temu. I want to say Timu so bad, it just rolls off the tongue so much better. But then I feel like if I don't say Temu, it's almost as if it's kind of false advertising or disrespectful. So, anyways, I don't care either way. It's whatever. Um, let me get into my receipts here. Now, just to let you know, um, many of you might not know, I would not pay for some of these outright unless if I had some free orders. So some of these I tried on my free orders. Um, how do you get free orders? Well, just gotta be lucky enough not to have your packages show up on time. $5 adds up very quickly when it happens all the time. But anyways, they fix that problem. I get my packages, like I think they put out a more of an extended time frame because I got a lot of money back last year from it. Can't use it anywhere but Temu. So what do I do? Of course I'm gonna try out Temu, right? Anywho, enough about ordering. Let's get into some products. Last time I told you about, you know, under eye masks, odds and ends. It didn't make sense. It was no rhyme or reason to what I was showing you. My uh, son's birthday is coming up, right? He is obsessed with capybaras. Um, they come out with new capybara stuff almost every week. So I ordered what I could and what I think he was going to like with the stuff that they had online last two, three weeks ago. Um, and then I got him some Roblox stuff because he loves, loves Roblox. Now, do they have a lot of Roblox stuff like you'd find on other websites? No, but they're getting there. Temu's getting there. And one of the one things I found that I didn't know if it was going to be appropriate because he is turning seven. And I, but I found it and I was like, dude, this is the cutest, one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And I had to buy it. Sorry, I just did. Um... Normally, I would be like, eh, I don't know if I'd pay that much for something like that. But as I'm looking, you view receipt. Oh, I gotta review this receipt. Can you get it? Okay. I got this. Oh, I got allergies. Bad over here. It came in a um, styrofoam box. It came with the little okay. $10.25. Now you're saying... A lot of people are like, oh, that's cheap. Right? Not for me. I'm frugal. So this particular order was not free. This particular order, I did have to pay out of pocket. This was two, I want to say like seven weeks ago. I always try to buy everything weeks before their birthday when I have some money, you know, um, before anything else can happen for it to be taken away. So I went and tried to get all of his, you know, I did not notice that. Oh my God. Before anyone asks, yes, I recommend it. $10.25. It was a pricey for me. I kind of was looking at it and struggling like, should I? That's kind of, because that's, for me, that's a lot of money. That $10.25 is like me going all the way to work and back, which is all the way up in the mountains. So, I mean, that's a big decision. And I, I telling you what. I just hope my son doesn't see this, but it is a cute little coffee mug, which he probably, he'd be drinking his Kool-Aid or something out of, but he likes mugs and it comes with a little top to keep, you know, flies or anything out of it. It's a capybara sitting in water. It's a capybara sitting in water. No, no. You might think I'm going crazy, but that is the cutest damn thing I've ever seen. And to top it all off. Oh, um, messy. It comes with these little cute fruits. There is an orange that's half peeled, and there is another orange that's half peeled. One is orange and one is green. In the picture, it shows. In the picture, it shows it sitting right there. So you can put it around in the water where he's sitting, or you could like put it on his head. In the picture, it shows it on his head. Now, you could probably glue it on if you really wanted to. Um, ooh, ooh, I've fallen. Uh, cute. 
uh, which I might actually end up maybe doing is gluing it. But can I just get over the fact? I can't get over the fact that it is so dang cute. And the guy is really obsessed. Like I'm talking about obsessed with capybaras. So it was not. It was worth every penny. It was not in vain to buy this at all. That's what the top looks like. Okay. That's what the. It's a. You could probably eat soup out of that. That would fit a whole can of Campbell's soup plus an, uh, some water. So it would be like a, one whole. Well, according to Campbell, one small thing of soup is for one person. But I mean, for two people. But do you see that? Cocoa, um, Kool Aid. If you even wanted to put money in it to save up your money, you could do that. But that by far right there is like my, one of my favorite things. 1025. 1025 is worth every penny. Please don't hesitate. Get it out the gate. Okay. We, <laughs> we're going to get through this. I swear we are. I promise. It just takes some time. Okay, we're just going to start ripping things open and seeing what we come up with. Okay. This I got. This was a little guy. This was 69 cents. Come on. It's a keychain to put on his backpack. It's a cute little capybara with one of those fruits on his head and he's drinking a drink. Pretty damn cute. So. 69 cents, simple, easy, recommend, yeah, recommend, if, I mean, if you're obsessed with capybaras, I mean, you, you can't go wrong, right, well, just saying, what else we got in here, I know we've got a lot more, hold on, I'm getting, they packed this to the brim, they did though, we got these cute stickers, I think it was 50 capybara stickers, I'm not going to take them out and show you, because they're just all different types of capybara stickers, you can imagine. I mean, they're cute. They pose in cute, you know, in the water. Or they got cute, like, they have something that says happy on it, family. Where there's one with the apple on its head. One with the leaf in the water. Um, 50 of them. I spent $1.28. And that's for the birthday. It is very um, cute. I do recommend it for the money. And it's very versatile. Because you can put it on water bottles. You can put on their school binders. Versatile, right? You can't go wrong. And it's stickers, right? So at least it's not like markers. They're not marking up my walls. I can always pull stickers off, right? The other thing I bought, pro and con to it, was a bag of 14 12 inches balloons for his birthday. It was $2.69. And I don't usually, usually spend that much on balloons. Um, because I could just go get colored ones at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. But these have Roblox characters on them. So let me, let me share. Okay. They have little Roblox characters on them. And each one is different. Now... What I'm going to do is tell you, is it worth the money? I think it is. Especially if your child is really into Roblox, and mine is. The problem with this is that the picture shows that the whole face of the character is like this big. Like all the way around like this. Like it, the whole face would cover up all this. In reality, when you blow them up, the face is small on the balloon. If that's something that doesn't bother you, and it doesn't bother me... Um, it does not bother me at all because it still has the face on there, right? Uh, the only issue I have with that is it's almost like it's false advertising. And I know a lot of different companies that go through eBay or Walmart will do that. And it will piss me off because they will get the sales. So they figure by the time you get it, you're not going to like go through the whole process of getting a refund. It's a pain in the butt and they make it that way on purpose. So, um, Timu? You need to get another picture of this for your sale on here so that when people buy it, they're not disappointed. And yeah, you're thinking $2.69 is not a lot. It's not. But if it bothers somebody enough and they could have, they think they could have just gone to the Dollar Tree, you're going to lose a customer. 
See? That's a better. That's a that's bigger. That one's a little bit bigger. And I've gone through and blew all these up. I know. <laughs> Don't ask. I had time. Um just to see if the faces were um equivalent to the picture. This one is still very small compared to what the picture um, of these, ro it's called robot theme balloon because they can't say Roblox because then they can, I think, get in trouble. But it's supposed to look like it's all the way around the balloon. Those faces are not big like the picture is. So to you, if I had any really loving, caring, constructive criticism for you, it'd be maybe post a better picture, especially of that product showing the actual description of it so you don't get someone who's really pissed off. Um, just my opinion. No offense. I just, it doesn't piss me off, but I've known people to get pissed off over little things. So the next one I have is a pair of capybara socks. They have like little chickens on them and they're floating in the water. The toes are black. They are a type of polyester, of course, right? And I think a little bit of cotton, mostly polyester. They're cute though. So they will be almost like almost a knee sock for my boy. Um, they wore, and I would not pay this much for socks. Would not. But I'm going to tell you something. The kid loves Capybara so much, I want to make his birthday special as possible. Um, so if, you know, I can spend really cheap little things here and there, and it will give him like uh, 10, 12 items of little things that he will actually enjoy. Um, $3.03 is what I spent on this pair of socks. Um, I would never. I would never spend that much on a pair of socks. They are thicker. They are better quality than some of the socks I have seen. In fact, um, they do have socks on there that have cute little marijuana leaves on them. I don't show them because I don't want kids or the parents. I don't want drug paraphernalia on my channel at all. Even though it is legal in most states, I just want to be respectful. Um, you can get those, and those are really nice comfy socks. Um, my husband loves them. So if that's something you're into and you, you can, you know, wear that coast kind of socks, I recommend those. Those are soft and nice. These ones, mostly polyester. The other ones I was talking about, you know, um, they are more cottony. 303, I think they're way too expensive for a pair of socks. But if they have something you love on them, it's worth it. So if you're going to ask me, is it worth the 303? Yeah. They are made, they are made better than I thought. I thought they were going to be thin and kind of like the ones you get at the Dollar Tree thin. Um, they are worth the $3 and three cents. I, yeah, definitely. Yep. And I am not sponsored. Nobody sponsors me. I'm always poor. I'm always broke. Nobody ever sponsors me. So don't worry. I'm not going to lie to you. In fact, I really would rather tell the truth more than anything. Eraser pencils. Just pulled those out of the box. They are full-blown pencils. Now, I've never <laughs> owned a racer, racer pencils. They come in a pack of six. I bought this for $1.86. Cheap. He is an artist. He loves to draw. He loves to work on his shading. So, um, my artistic little boy, he, of course, he's going to need these quite a bit, I'm sure, in his learning experiences with his craft. I've never owned them. I haven't tried these, so I can't give an honest opinion on how good they work. They look amazing to me. They look sturdy. Uh, I think you just file them down to keep using the eraser, so they'll probably last you forever. I would say, based on what I spent for them, I think they're definitely worth the money. Definitely. Uh, I, I would recommend them. If you are an artist, and I am, I like to paint, and I do draw... I would definitely highly recommend them. Yeah, I would. Pair of pants. I had to get him a pair of pants. These are six, no, seven to eight year old pants. That was the size. It is um, boys tie dye graffiti letter print joggers. It is very thin. These are what you call at home, lounging around, don't take your kids outside with no underwear on especially, uh, there's a lot of pedos out there, so you gotta keep yourself safe. Um, but if you wanna put like some shorts underneath, then they could wear it outside, definitely. But it's got such a stretchy middle, that 
my youngest and my middle could wear these. Look at that. Because my youngest is very thin. That would fit him. Yeah, see, that would fit him. And, I mean, and they stretch. And they go down and they are soft. If you want to know the texture, they are like, it, it reminds me of silk. Not real silk, of course, but the closest thing to fake silk, maybe. You know, or the closest thing to real silk, just being fake. And then they have a little stretch on the bottom so they don't, you know, you can keep them on your ankle so they're not getting dirty. $2.17 for a brand new pair. $2. And I bought these on sale because I think they were on sale at the time I bought them. Um, who, I mean, who's going to say no to two seventeen? I mean, they are just soft and wonderful and I love them. So two seventeen. So you're going to ask, Hey Brenna, is it worth buying? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Most definitely. Okay. We got a shirt. In fact, I've been ha I had the shirt in my basket on Temu for I want to say almost a year. I was waiting for his birthday to come around, and I thought to myself, "Well, if they still have it, I'm gonna buy it." And I did. Two dollars and eighty-five cents. He is a huge mama's boy. So I got my shirt that says "Chicken Nugs and Mama Hugs." I got the seven to eight years old. It looks almost more like if it was a six to seven year old fit. So I think it's a little bit smaller than true to size. If you're going to, and it's mainly polyester, but if you're going to ask me if it is worth the 285, uh, yeah, duh, it is. It's cute. It only comes in, I think the one color when I bought it anyways. So yes, 100% recommend. The other thing we got in the haul, because he is a sketch boy, we got him a, um, oh, whatchamacallit, an art set. And you're like, well, that doesn't look like an art, like maybe a makeup brush set. No, um, this will really help with what he wants and what he wants to accomplish. He's into art. And I got this set for eleven ninety nine. I know what you're thinking, like, you spend eleven ninety nine. If you know me, I'm frugal. Like I don't spend over ten dollars on anything. Can't really afford it. But listen, it's great quality, great material. I haven't tested out the pencils because I want to keep them brand new for when he opens them. But they are awesome. You got your HB, your one two B, your one O B. Like you have all your grates, and then you've got your different charcoals, your medium, softs, and hards, and then you've got your metals. For your um, sculptures and your blendings and your, what is this? Oh, beautifier. So you got your white pencils. And then you got your two, which ones are those? Man, this comes with a lot of more stuff than I thought it did. It's just the black pencils. So the two regular black pencils. So if you're an artist, you know exactly what all this is. You've got your charcoal pencils up here and then you're like your little clay up here. So people like clay. Yeah, you ball the clay up and then you can do stuff with the charcoal paintings and you can make shadows with the clay. The clay is a really good tool to help with um, blending and shading depending on what kind of effect you want to get on your um, pencil art. And a lot of these HBs and everything, which I have my own set, my own expensive set I've had for years, won't let the kids touch it. Um, a lot of these will be able to be blended in, um, with the, the clay as well. So if you're into art and you don't know where to start in life, I'd say get yourself, um, a big, like a book, not huge, but a bit, a book of just, um, sketch paper and then buy yourself a set like this. And they, I've seen sets like this from anywhere from $10 all the way up to a hundred and something dollars. Um, but I've tried all kinds. They're all the same. They work all the same. So if you're buying something for a hundred and something dollars, you're paying for the name. I guarantee you. Okay. So $11.99 for that. You're going to ask me, is it worth it? Especially if he takes care of it, it will be definitely worth it. But yes, it is very, and I mean very much worth it. Like you have no idea how worth it this was. Um, it was way below budget when looking for an art set. Cause I told my husband, I don't want a painting art set. I don't want those. 
those cheap ones you get from Walmart on one actual sketch artist art set. And Walmart would sell something like this for about three times the price. I think when I first got my first one, I think it was through Walmart.com. And I'm pretty sure it was like 20 something. So I think the one I have now is a little bit more expensive. Had it for, like I said, <laughs> seven years maybe. Um, no, longer than that. I want to say almost maybe 10 years. So definitely recommend uh, pencil. I was actually surprised I found it online for that cheap because I've never seen it that cheap before. Uh, oh, here we go. $3.18. Would not usually spend that much, but it's a capybara hat that says, don't worry, be cappy. He might not fit into this because his head, well, he has a bigger head anyway, but he might... He, I'm not wearing it correctly, of course, but you get the idea. It's cute. I don't want to put it on all the way. I don't want to stretch it out for him, but it is adorable. Don't worry. Be cappy. He's all about capybaras. $3.18. Is it worth it? If it was something that you weren't into, no. I would not pay $3.18 for a polyester beanie. If it's something you love, like it has your favorite character on it, it's going to make your kid super happy. Oh, the joy worth it like I said it has to be something that you enjoy with the logo polyester sucks anyway okay let's just I'll be honest here cotton's the way to go if you're gonna get something polyester it's got to be worth it right hey, it'll probably keep your head sweaty and warm but my whole issue with that even so being uh $3.18 for a beanie especially a polyester one it better be worth the logo okay so yes, in my situation, it was definitely worth it. I got a cute card. Oh, look how cute this is. This is a cute little birthday card. It says, Cappy Birthday on it. Cappy Birthday. How cute is that? I haven't opened it. I don't know if there's... I think it might be blank inside. I think I'm going to, what I wanted it for was, of course, everyone needs a birthday card for their birthday. Like, come on. I love the fact that the envelope is like a normal, like, bag brown from like a grocery store brown. That's cute. It is. And it's not like a paper. It's like a shiny paper. So if you write in certain pen, it's going to smear. So you might want to think about getting a Sharpie for this one. I did not realize that. But yeah cute little message with some money in it that's all you need um they did have other ones that were just as cute but they were like three and four dollars a card i'm not gonna pay that much for a card and i ain't going to walmart for a card because they charge like seven dollars for a card walmart is your place for a source it's your source for cheap plastic crap that's what it's for anyway a dollar 79 I could have went to the Dollar Tree and got one for one twenty-five or two for. I think they still have them for one for a dollar or two for a dollar, depending on what rack you get. I'm not gonna find a capybara one at Dollar Tree. I would rather pay the extra fifty cents and don't care about getting me two. I just want the one he's gonna love the most. So again, is it worth it? I, I think one seventy nine dollars is worth it, even if it was something that you didn't care about, like your logo. If you're getting a generic card for a co-worker or your sister's or brother's birthday, you want it to be funny. I've seen ones with Snoop Dogg on them, the Golden Girls, whatever. Yeah. Even if it wasn't a logo that you didn't know they were going to super like. one seventy nine dollars I think, is a very cheap cost for a cute card. So, yes, it was worth every penny, especially since he's going to love it, okay? Next, I got a blanket for $14.98. This was probably the most, ex well, you know, I'd say close to the most expensive thing. I don't spend that much on anyone, but my kids are important, you know. Um, I got a huge, I got the biggest size they had. So, I got the 50 times, uh, 60 times 50 incher. Okay, it was $14.91. It is not super thick at all. It is thin and it's not really fleece. It's got fleece type quality, but it is softer than all get out, right? Okay. And it is a pretty good size. So, boop, all the way, boop. See how big that is? I don't think I can stretch out far enough. 
That's huge, right? Look at that. It's amazing. It's just right for a little boy to snuggle up in. Um, for a big girl like me, I like big, big blankets. Um, but for a normal size woman, this would be just perfect as well. Like my mom's a small girl. She could probably cuddle up to that just fine in that because, you know. So worth every penny. I recommend this 100%. Remember, it's $14.98. They don't just come in that type of capybara pattern. They come in all kinds of capybara patterns, okay? So don't be deterred by just what you see. If you're like, ew, beige, ew. I don't. If you're into capybaras, sloths, elephants, they have all kinds of stuff. So don't let anything deter you from cat. Okay. I got this because it was on sale. I think it's originally $4.49. I think I bought it for three something because I think it was on sale the day I was online. But it says Capybara is my spirly, spirly animal. So there's a misprint and misspelling. I think that's why it was on sale. Capybara is my spirly animal. I think it's supposed to say Capybara is my spirit animal. Now, I did notice the defect when I bought it. And I didn't buy it because it was on sale. I bought it because not only do I love the logo, love it. I thought Capybara is my spir spirally animal. I think spirally was cute. I think it was a cute word. My son has a hard time pronouncing things and talking. So if he was say, to say spirit or spirally, he would probably, it would probably come out as spirally. It kind of just reminds me of how he talks. So in my in my personal situation, something like that ain't gonna bother me. It was uh three something, I think. I think it's now four forty nine. Still not bad. Would I rebuy it for four forty nine? Yeah, I would. It is a polyester. And I got it in the seven year for about seven years old. And it, and this one is true to size. This one does look like about a seven year old fit. So this one is true to size. So I would definitely say, oh, a heck yes on that one. Yep, 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 yep. Now, if I can just get all of this back in there so it doesn't get dirty, because I don't want anyone noting, knowing I have it, that'd be wonderful. Okay. Let's see where we're going now. We're almost to the end of that shopping. Where is my receipt temu temu really needs to fix this because it's hard to get into it receipt view receipt okay oh told you he likes roblox temu get on with the program i have view receipt come on okay so this is a shirt and they come in different colors, in black and white also. It's very thin, and it is polyester. I got it in a 7.8, and um, hmm, I think it's true to size, honestly. $5.03. I think he's going to absolutely enjoy it and love it. $5.03, I think, is a small price for a brand new shirt. I don't think you can really go wrong with that. And with the shirt, I got this. It's about the same color as this, right? But it has orange and green in it as well. And less purple. It only has a tiny bit of purple on the bottom. And it is a hoodie. Polyester again. Uh -huh. Surprise, surprise! It's supposed to be spelt six to eight. Six to eight. And I think it's true to size. Now that I'm looking at it, um, I had a hard time with buying this. Because of how expensive I thought it was. Um, but he really, really loves Roblox. So I figured I think it was going to make him happy. $8.90. I would not pay for anything like this for $9 almost. If it wasn't going to be something that they wouldn't love. If it was a generic just shirt that was made out of polyester like this. I would not buy it. So, Temu, you're lucky that you had Roblox symbol on here. It is actually under Kids Cartoon Color and Gradient. And the shirt was under Colorful, colorful Gradient R Letter Words. 
they can't put, like I said, they can't put the Roblox symbol on there. So if you're looking for Roblox and you're like, I'm typing in Roblox and I can't find something, sometimes you just have to keep scrolling before you find something that mimics the Roblox. Because even though that these are true um, Roblox images and symbols, I don't know if legally they can sell them as such because they're not from the company itself. They're not making their own money off of it. Which I don't know is if it's illegal, but hey, whatever, right? Um, I got a blue wallet with a capybara on it. It looks like it's made out of jean material, but it's not jean material. It feels almost like a jean material, but it's not. Uh, some type of fiber. I don't know what it is. Capybara, and he's doing some muscle lifting. It was $3.59, and it comes with a clip. So you can clip it into place so it's not flying open and getting stuff all over. Comes with card holders, ID, and of course a money pocket. I would, this is such low quality material that, and I already kind of figured it probably would be. I am very surprised and pleasantly happy that it comes with a click, a little snappy, a little snapper snapperoo. Because I feel like that's important, especially with chaotic children. Um, and I've been testing it to make sure it's like not loose or anything, and it's great. And then it's got, of course, the edges that have, and it's the black edges, you know, they kind of put like that faux type of almost leather, but it's like almost like a cheap plastic. And once it peels off, man, it will fray and it will peel off forever. But $3.59 is not expensive. So if it does get ruined by within a year, it's not a huge deal. Um, would I pay for this ever? No. $3.59 I think is a little bit pricey and steep for this cheap, cheap product. This is made cheaply. This is something I would probably kind of find at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. The only reason why I bought it, uh, against my better judgment, is because it's the only one I could find that was Capybara. At the moment. And I, you know, we're doing a theme. We got to stick with that theme. And I want to make, you know, when you have a child and it's their birthday, you want to make sure you buy things that they're going to want and need. And they're not going to be like, oh, thanks. You do that. They're not going to be, you might as well have just thrown that money down the toilet because they're not going to use it or wear it. But he is all obsessed about with capybaras. So you might as well get them what they want. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. Okay. This is the only thing I think I was going to be mad about. Because I was like, well, do I want to buy a stuffed animal for $12.49? I have never bought a stuffed animal for $12.49. Except for the time my son was on disability when he was little and I let him do what he he needed or wanted to do because without him, he wouldn't have had that disability, it goes to him. So whatever we didn't pay or didn't come out for doctor's appointments and stuff like that, I let him save up or let him buy something. Well, he goes to the Disney store, of course, and those Disney um, store, <sighs> I mean, they're like this big. We got a Woody, a Buzz, and a... Uh, Jesse. And I think he spent like $30 on each. Back then, that was really expensive for me. That was a long time ago, years ago. Now I think they're going for 60 bucks a piece. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself like, what? Disney can charge that much apparently. So when I think about it in that context, $12.49 isn't bad. I thought I was going to bite myself and, you know, get upset at myself because I'm like, I want to spend this much money on a stuffed animal. They already have enough. We're good. Because when this thing came in the mail, I was in love. I know that sounds stupid, but it is one of the softest, most squishiest, most amazing stuffed animals I have ever seen. So it is worth every penny. Um, because it was... Um personally uh set up to celebrate a birthday for somebody whose favorite animal was a capybara 
that's what really got me like, okay, this is going to be okay. We're going to get it. Um, otherwise, I would never. And it came out way bigger than I thought it would. It's got a cute little orange bow tie. Super fluffy, super soft. It's got a little hat that says happy birthday. They're only little once. I'm just telling you guys with kids, they're only little once. I tend to spend anywhere from 50 to 100 on a birthday. And if you're going to do anything, get them what they're going to love. Let them celebrate what they're into that year. Who cares if they're going to be able to use it 10 years from now? They're only little once. You're going to have to, like, take in the moments. Oh, so soft. And let them just be happy. Look at that. Oh, and he's fat. Oh, he's so... I don't know if I'm going to be able to give this to him. <laughs> I might steal it and snuggle with it at night. Oh, my God. So, are, are you asking me if it's worth... <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever bought in, in a long time. Yeah, it's worth it. Um, in fact, if I knew it was that great and it was like up to like $15, I would have spent 15 bucks on it. Call me stupid. I don't care. It makes me happy. Okay. And last but not least on this particular haul, see Timu, I can see everyone knows. I don't know what the hell this is. That could be from like the black web for all we know. For someone who lives out here, right on Main Street, everyone sees my front porches. I mean, <laughs> call me crazy. Where oh, you're not. Ugh. This is a Capybara Balloon Cute Animal Set. $8. Uh, $8. $10.88. <sighs> you're wondering, well, you're getting all weird about spending anything over $10. Why would you get this? This came with so much crap. And it will make my life tons easier. Like I said, I set out a boundary and I bought these months ago just so that you guys know. I saved up some money and I bought these weeks to months ago. Well, yeah, I'm going to say anywhere from six weeks to a few months ago, which was great. I did because I hit a deer and now I have to pay comprehensive ins on my insurance. So mm, look, who, uh, who, look who's laughing now. So my kid still has a birthday party. Oh, haven't opened this yet. We're opening it together. Come with a pack of balloons. Let me see what time it is. Okay. I just don't want him coming home from school and he's like, what do you got there? I'm going to have to pack all this up. Um, excuse you, Timu. Hemu, you did something super right. That's the cutest damn balloon I ever did see. What? $10.88. And this we're just in the we're just going through the balloons right now. That is cute. Cute. That's a chocolate one. He's got <laughs> He's a, he's got his two babies on her, on her. She's got her two babies. Oh my god. And there's two more colors to go through. Are they all the same on each color? Not the same, but like the colors. Yes, they are. Okay. So I don't have to. There's not different patterns on each color. <laughs> he's riding an alligator. I've only seen that in actual videos. I've never seen that on even a sticker. I mean, that's what they do. Capybaras will actually ride on alligators. Oh, yeah. I actually think I'm going to be more excited about this birthday setup than he is. Because I'm like freaking out already. I'm like, oh, my favorite. You know my favorite's always with those like little oranges. Oh, it's the little things in life, isn't it? You just gotta cherish the little things in life. Okay. Ah. Anyways, those are the four colors. And each of the colors only have that particular, whatever they're assigned to, um, 
logo. No, picture. Or else I'd be like, you know. Yep. Yep. Okay. Great. Okay, it comes with a happy birthday with the two sticks. So if you want a cake, I think we're doing cupcakes this year. So I can, if he's still in capybaras next year, or even for my birthday, we can always save this for a cake. Happy birthday. You have like a duck and french fry, capybaras, burger, fish, and then a little capybara right here in the corner. You can't really tell. It's sipping a boba tea. My goodness, that's adorable. And then for cupcakes, this is the one that I was going to go for. Like, because we're doing the cupcakes. I was like, should I get sparkly rainbow? Because he loves rainbow. It's one of his favorite colors. Or should we just go and do the cupcakes? So, and do the picks as capybaras. So, we do. We have the picks. And I think it's two of the same pictures per each picture. So, we'll start with the first one. We've got these. He's like riding a little um, rubber ducky. He got, there's this one, which I don't understand. I think he's, yeah, he's in a shopping bag. His head's sticking out and he's like in a shopping bag. Pretty damn cute. Just like the cup I bought, he's in like a little water, wooden barrel type of thing. I forget what they, they, they have a name, that wooden thing. I just can't think of it right now. Ducks riding on a cup of bar. Oh, I think this has got to be one of my favorites. Sim simple. I mean, this is like a mom theme right here. That's a relaxation theme. That's a cute cup of... That's funny. I don't know if I can show it. Hope it doesn't go against guidelines. It's just a cup of bar riding a duck and he's doing a pew pew. He has a pew pew. Which is fine. It's funny. I just don't want to get in trouble. Anyway, so it comes with a, oh, oh, now hold on a second here. This is really nice. Usually when I go to some place like the Dollar Tree and get like one of those table wrap things, it's like plastic and it like rips. This is made out of fabric. And it's a sign. So you can use it as a wall sign. OMG. Or you could put it on your table and you can wash it. So it has more than one use. In fact, if you're really in a cup of bars that much, hell, you can even probably make like a window blind with it. You can like actually sew this onto like a black fabric. Oh my goodness. I did not know it came with that. It's worth the $10.88, guys. This stuff doesn't rip. It is fabric. It is worth every penny. Like I said, it's all based on you and what you are into. If it has a logo that you know you're going to love, get it. Do it. Even comes with like the tape that you can use to either hold it in to the wall or even use as a table mat. Which I don't think it's necessarily made for a table mat. I'm just saying if that's something you wanted to do, you sure could. And then they've got signs. With, um, they're like, it's like a all the way across the room sign. So I think it says happy birthday, um, with Capybara. <laughs> so cute. He's in a net. Look at him in a net. Why is that so cute? Tell you did good. Temu did good today. Sponsor me, Temu. Please. I'm thorough. I'm thorough. I go through everything and I try them. I even take weeks at a time to try a product. Temu. Sponsor me. Anyway, look at this. So each one, so you got the H... The A, you just string them, and it comes with a string and a stringer in case if you need it, which I probably would. I don't think any of my nails are too thin to thin enough to do that. You string this string across into them, weave them in and out, and it will say happy birthday by the time you get done. And each sign has a capybara. Do it, dude. Dude, are you kidding me? How cute! It has a hamburger. 
with the capybara as a bun on top. Show me something cuter. Because I bet you can't. Show me something cuter. Bet you can't. Ooh, B. Let me see what the birthday looks like. <gasps> and then look. And then for each like section where after it says happy, it starts with this. Happy. And, and that's in the middle. Birthday. So it kind of keeps them apart. Or you can decide to do a happy birthday and not have this in the middle and have this on the back. And just try to part it a little bit as much as you can. Like you can do all th whatever you want really with these. Some people might even just take them out. I I I don't know if I didn't need them and if I don't need the straight the happy birthday to be that wide or long, I would probably just take these out and put them on the wall during the birthday party with the balloons because let's be honest, that's cute. Like you don't want to waste any of this. You don't want to waste it. Like. Why would you ever want to waste something that damn cute? You don't. That's why. Anywho, this was kind of a long video anyway, just like the last one, and that's okay. I'd rather be thorough and go through every single product I have so that you know what you want at Temu. You know what the quality is like. We're not wasting our money. Um, this Temu haul, Temu haul was actually paid for with birthday funds for my son. I'm not sponsored. Temu does not give me money. The only time they give me money is if they're late and I racked up a little bit of a credit with them. So I do have some, I do think I have one more haul that's free. It was like a little free haul. It's not anything big. So, um, otherwise I wouldn't have, I'm very frugal with my money. Of course, if you know me, Nightem and the boys, not your typical Utah mom, we talk a lot about how to pinch pennies and dimes um, in this economy, especially it's getting a lot harder. So if you liked anything on here, you know exactly what the quality's like, you know how I feel about it, you know exactly how much it cost. Um, some of this stuff will be on sale depending on the day, the pick and choose sale items every day, you know. Um, so when I say, Hey, you can buy it now for like 49 cents, just keep in mind, if you're new, you will get a whole slew of, um, couponing. I think for the first time I've had, my husband has an account. I had an account and my son had an account. Um, yeah, my son, my older son, he has his own credit card. He knows what he, he has his own thing. I think that we ended up each time we were a new I think I got thirty free dollars started. My husband got thirty three. I think thirty free dollars, and I forget if my son got that. That was like a year ago or so. So I'm thinking they're still doing that. I think it's still for you get a thirty dollar coupon. Um, tell me it's not worth it because it is. So get your butts to Temu. Like I said, um, you're welcome, Temu. I am not sponsored. I'd love to be. You know, um, I'm very thorough. Come back for my next video. I did not wear makeup again because I thought I was going to go through my Temu products that had like creams and stuff. I'm hoping I can get to that next time. Oh, that'd be nice. I think I'm going to try to make that happen within the next day. Um, I don't know if these are all going to be uploaded all at once or one every day. It just kind of depends on when I can sit down. I don't like to edit my stuff. Uh, I'm just going to be real and truthful with you the first time around. Um, I'm not going to ever take back what I say if I don't like a product and I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. Like I said, the best thing that I can teach you right now out of anything that I could ever teach anyone who's buying from Temu is, um, is it worth it for you? Uh, just remember that all of their clothes, most, I'm going to say like 95% are polyester based. Not good for all people with uh, different skins, right? So be careful with that. And the other thing is, if it's something that's like $10 and it's not something you would absolutely love, but the person next to you or in your family is like, oh, I would, I'd pay 20 bucks for that. Just remember, it's all about the logos. So you can always search online your favorite logos. If you're obsessed with something or you're really into certain crafts, um, it's on, it's really about personal opinion in it, everything on the internet is very subjective, right? Depends on who's watching it. 
males don't tend to watch these type of videos. So if you are a female, just know it is very subjective. If you have somebody who's into Roblox and loves capybaras, this was probably a good video for you. I do have a another copy capybara, not haul. I do have a, at least one more capybara item to go through. I'll try to get in that into the next vlog. Other than that, please like, share, because um, when you like and share, it helps me to get in touch with uh, sponsoring or people who can give out coupons. So maybe if one day I do get sponsored by a company that I'm doing, I can uh, let you, they might work with me and my brand and you might get some coupons on that. Not only that, it does help out a small business. I do make my own handcrafted jewelry. Um, I will be hoping doing more videos and teaching people how to make it and my process. And I want to say thank you for everyone who did join and lasted this long. It's been like 50 minutes. So, I mean, it takes, it, it goes by fast for me because I have a lot of fun going through these. Um, Temu, I did not get through this bag today. I hope I can do it on my next session, my next sesh. Just, just two things that I think that Temu could really work on is providing pictures that are more um, loyal to what the product actually looks like on on a lot of products. Some of the products are amazing, even with like or without good quality pictures. And the other thing is, if you're gonna send to people who are buying a lot from you, um, especially if I live. I or anyone lives out like in big cities and you know especially where I'm on Main Street and everybody knows my name here um, free advertising for you this has nothing to do with me but if you want people to know that you are out and about and you exist I would definitely put your Temu mark on I've never had you send this to me like this like I thought it was my neighbors honestly and it's not like you can see my address and I don't care. Hey, if you see my address, um, could you like send me a gift? I'm depressed. You know, pay my rent. I'm just kidding. Um, you know, honestly though, I love you guys. You guys have a good day and thanks for tuning in. And I can't wait to make the next one. Remember Temu, advertising, advertising, advertising. I don't know what corporate's doing, but get on the ball. Somebody up there messed up.